Hello everyone, welcome to Season 5, Episode 3 of the Draw the United Career Mode. I'm playing on Dock here today. I promised you, uh, regardless of what happened with the Conference League, that I'd play uh, the league game directly after, assuming players are fit. My players are fit, so I will be playing against on Dock. That's That was a promise I made, that's a promise I'm going to stick to. When I make a promise, I have a tendency to stick to it, as you should. So, we bet Atlanta 5-3. In one of the weirdest finals I've ever played in, it was an absolute mess. We went 2-0 up, then I think it was 2-1 at halftime. Then we went 5-1 up, and then it finished 5-3. So yeah, that was epic. Uh, what we're going to do today, we're playing Dundalk. Uh, we'll depend on how we do, we might sim all these games. It depends. Definitely sim Shamrock Rovers anyway. And then we'll probably finish July off, and then we'll have a look at August. We'll see what happens there. It, it just depends on how we're doing the league, because, you know, we are str struggling a little bit. I want to get the Ireland job back. Uh, that was always the plan, but we released it so that I'd have a chance of fixing the friendly-only nature, because this game is so fucking broken. All right, playing this game as promised, and then hopefully I never have to play another domestic game again. Well, this could be 1-0. Should be 1 0 if they played their cards right. Uh, they're, they're playing at Arseways, yep. Okay, well, if they had actually just gone at me there, they probably would have scored. Uh, this team is my second team. So it's not very good. Like, it's fourth in the fucking Irish League, for fuck's sake. Oh shit, they had a player sent off. What? Uh, Quellity has been sent off for literally no reason at all. Uh,. Also, another thing, uh, it's after Christmas. I think it's the 29th of December this is going up. Uh, I completely messed up my schedule, uh, so I thought I had this video would have been the one that was going up at Christmas. It's not. Uh, as you can tell, it's a bit recorded a lot before Christmas. Uh, so, Merry Christmas. My apologies for not saying it in an earlier video. Uh, I probably did, actually. I know I said it for the Hearts of Iron video. That was designed to go up on Christmas Day. These videos weren't. These were videos were just designed to be around Christmas. I was still supposed to say it. I forgot. I apologize, guys. So, hopefully he's had a decent Christmas, decent Boxing Day, uh, whatever. Oh shit, 100 career wins. Oh god, there's a lot happening right now. So yeah, hopefully the new year is also going to be somewhat decent. Um, the new year for my channel was quite good uh, from April, and then it kind of fell off and started increasing again uh, in September, October. So, the summer is a bit dead for my channel, but after, other than that, you know, it's it's been a good year for the channel. Um, hit 100 subs and then went back down again, but there's reasons for why I went down. I was expecting it. In fact, I still am. And now we're 1 0 down to 10 minutes on dock. So, yeah, Merry Christmas, gamers. Uh, my team is not very good. I'm planning to get season 5 fully done in 2021. I, I might just upload two videos on the same day. Uh, obviously, different series, of course. So, like, I could have a FIFA on uh, the 31st and then also have. Like, uh, I don't know, Halo Infinite on the 31st as well. Something along those lines. I was thinking of doing Poppy Playtime as well. Uh, Something something like that. I don't know, I, I already have Poppy Playtime. I just haven't really played it. It's terrifying. It scares the fucking daylights out of me. Right, come on, make it two. The sooner you make it three, the, the, the sooner I don't have to play. Nesbitt's on a great turn there, but no one is uh, in a position to help him. And then he does a shit pass. Okay, he's won it back. Okay, I'll give him that. Put out. Someone look for it. Fuck it, just hit it. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I hate playing domestic games. They're so shit. If I sim it now, it's... Yeah, fuck it, we're gonna do that. I'm not enjoying that. Well, oh, there we go. I wouldn't have got that. 8.8 from Highland. See, guys, simming it is just so much better because domestic games are one, shit, and two, in this scenario, worked out to be quite well. Well, you squad monthly report after the absolute shambles of a game. Keen Collins. I should really promote him, shouldn't I? And play him instead of Kane. Uh, we'll, we'll leave him another month. If he's still quite good next month, then I'll promote him. Manager Murray of 9 points or 96. Jesus Christ, that's really good. Uh, David Callahan. Like, get him in. Uh, Alan Quinn. No. Two more. Hopefully, I can get at least one more player to promote. I don't. Okay, right. Well, I was asking for a lot, wasn't I? Right, playing the first team. I'm sick of losing. Oh, the most is now 75 rate as well. That's a that's a bula bus for him. And a 2-0 win. Nice. You love to see it. 
now. Who have we got? 9.9 .9 for Ayala. He's getting player of the season. I need to make a rule, right? Now, obviously, I'm not going to do it this career mode, but maybe if I ever do another, you know, career mode similar to this, or just in a career mode in general, that involves Ireland, I'll have a thing where only Irish players can get captaincy and all that. Obviously, foreign players can win player of the season, but it'll go down to the next Irish player who will get the captaincy and all the benefits of that, I think. Yeah. We're going to do it like that next time, but obviously, for this career mode, the rules are set. The rules are very, very finicky. Uh... I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush and say that they're perfect. I'm really not. Alright, so the first team is actually winning games. Coil got a 10. Okay, my right back, Seamus Coleman, got a 10. Coilman. <laughs> oh, I'm cringe. Alright, I'm taking no prisoners with this because we really need to get up to the table. Playing our first team again. And we draw to all. Oh, imagine if we had a play there, our weak inside. Kane got a five. Yeah, he could probably do a bit of replacing. Doyle looks like he got man the match with 6.9. Giggity. Where is he? There he is. Okay, grand. All right, his his rating is now on the list. Uh, What have we got? Use squad multi report. Is he good? Yes, he is. He is getting promoted now. I just need to get rid of my schedule here. I have my schedule open on my notebook that I usually write these players down on. Keen Collins. So he's technically the second Collins the career mode, but unfortunately, the other Collins is no longer with us. Dean Collins, left back. He will actually be playing as a left back, don't worry. 80 to 94 potential. Get in my squad. And then David Callaghan can just chill there because he's not good enough in terms of his overall. Uh, Palomino's gone. Uh, so, yeah, we're back down to... I can sign one more farm player now. Oh, I can't buy them or get them on a pre-contract. I need to change that rule. I should be allowed to do pre-contracts. Uh, yeah, I, I should be allowed to do that, I think. All right, let's see if there's any foreign players that I can get. All right, I'm going to shut up and have a look. Okay, offers. I've done contracts mostly. Uh, we are going to let McMullen go, and Ryan is not going anywhere. He is the future of my midfield. Uh, Collins, yeah, you're you're impressed. Whatever, I don't care. I've tried to do contracts. Uh, most of the base draw the United players have refused to sign uh, new deals. So... I don't really care whether they stay or not. I'm just going to start promoting a shit ton of youth players. So, yeah. Uh, Clark release clause has been met. Okay, so it looks like we're losing Clark. And he wants to say that he wants to leave. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, take time. I'll, 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 I don't know what I'm saying. Fuck him. That's not ideal, but it's fine. We can do it. The line's are starting to go down. I think we're just going to try sell him. Obviously not now, outside the transfer window. So at the end of August, we'll probably look to try and move them on. Okay, so apparently I'm spending 1.3 million on wages. Now, obviously, that's for the year. But am I able to see the... Am I able to see my weekly wage? 53,000 a week. Okay. That's... That's still under a budget. Because we've won three trophies now. And I think we started off at 30k. So, 180k. Yeah, 180,000 we have for wage. I, as I said, it's it's far too beneficial. It should be 10,000 added on for every trophy win. And you start off with 30k. So I should be on 60. All right, we're simming again because, you know, we're winning games. But we're not losing anymore. Phillips with an 8.7. Hot man. Right, we're showing no mercy here against St. Pat's. We are going to have to start using our second team because we are getting close to August. We should. Oh, fuck. I just skipped without doing a player rating. Oh, well, not that it's going to be much of a, a, a game changer. If there's only one person in it this year. I didn't mean to do that. But, you know, we should go straight into Europa League because we won the Conference League. But I'm not sure how the qualifiers work because the Europa League is below the Champions League. But I won the Conference League, which meant I should be going into Europa League. And I'm not. Uh, that's that hand regen, by the way, that you just saw. Oh, my phone's going off. You love to hear. Uh, where is my... Where's my offer? Office. Here we are. Uh, this is Slatan's regen. I have no idea who Latinum or Latinum are. But, yeah. Uh, I try to get some free agents, but there's really none available, so I don't really see a point in trying. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with Europa League. 
because uh, we should be straight into the group stage, but it might let us do the Champions League playoffs. I've I've got no idea. Ten rating for Ayala, as I said, player of the season is not contested this year. In any way, it was at the start for the first three months, and then after that, kind of just got away from everyone. Okay, I can confirm that we have got Champions League playoffs coming up. So I'm going to play both of them. And then I'll see where we are in terms of uh, time. Schalke won. Odomosu, not a chance. He's not going anywhere. He is my keeper. Sadly, Brady is gone. All right, EA Sports Cup. We're going to try to win it. I'm going to play the rotated team for the next game. And then we can play lovely, lovely... Uh, actually, I can't say the name of the team. Because that will uh, ruin my surprise. Who's man the match there? Is it Ryan? It's Ryan. It's not going to help you catch up to Ayala. He's miles ahead of everyone. Spoiler alert, by the way. Not that it's really a spoiler. You've seen his performances. Carrying this team. Right, Youth Squad Monthly Report. What have you got for me? Uh, Callahan's not bad in terms of potential. It's just his overall rating. It's just so shit. Rory O'Grady in my squad. Anyone else? There. Get in. Okay, one more. Evan? Sure. Right, I don't care about the rest of you, you sir. You're just shy. Right, I believe I'm playing my second team. Yes, I am. Right, just get that out of the way. Well, what's the score? 2 1. Nice. That should be the league sword. Brown with an 8. Okay, James Brown wins. Okay, everyone, I have to cut out the. I have to cut out the Champions League music because you get copyrighted for it. I, I found that out last FIFA, and I'm not making the same mistake this FIFA. It's so dumb the way they have a feature in the game that you cannot skip. I want to make this perfectly clear. You cannot skip the Champions League animation that plays when you start the Champions League every season. You have to watch it. Yet yeah, you get done for copyright for it. Very dumb. Very dumb indeed. Right, let's do this. We're playing the same formation as me. Uh, that's never a good sign. Right. I have a feeling Ayala is going to be instrumental here, but I have a feeling Rubio is going to... Rubio is going to be the one that's going to do all the damage. Right. Champions League playoff. I, I, I don't know what's happening here. We might get into the Champions League for the first time. Or Champions League group stages for the first time. I should correct myself. Or we'll just go into Europa League, which is where we probably should be anyway. Because we won the conference. Maybe you don't get into Europa League from winning the conference. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I haven't had time to experiment with this game. Uh, but all the bugs, you know, even experiments aren't necessarily accurate. We should be wiping the floor with these guys. And instead of just walking through my midfield. And he probably should have scored there. Right, I have Collins at left back instead of Kane, so we can have a shot of what he's like. Uh, nothing special so far. Ryan to Ayala. Here we are. Goal. Yes. Too easy. Too easy. Once you have Ayala, like, I was, my plan was, right, that I was going to get Ayala in at the start of this season. I think it was this season. And then I was just going to sell him at the end of it, or maybe at the start of next season, so I could get maybe Ronaldo's regen instead. Uh, I don't think that's going to be necessary, because he's just better than... He's probably the best youth player we, we have. Like, he's really good. Or not, he's not really a youth player, he's the best foreign player we have. But I want to keep Castelli, because we don't really have good centre-backs. He's really the only one. Uh, obviously, Odomos was kicked off this uh, version of the career mode, so we don't have uh, Berardi there. now. So we've got an extra outfield player, which is where Ayala comes in. I've got a free foreign player slot at the moment that I want to fill with Ronaldo if I ever get him. And, uh, yeah, there's also Messi that could be available. Phillips, you should have scored that. Yeah, so Caselli is untouchable at the moment, and so is Ayala. Uh, Rubio, believe it or not, isn't. Because once we get an Irish striker that's somewhat decent, he'll be playing there. All right, here we go. Goal? No, nope. good, good, good save from Odomosu. Right, here's Doyle. Doyle's been very poor this season. And he continues his terrible run of form. I I think it's time we move Doyle on. The only problem is there's no one there to replace him. If I was allowed by players, it'd be it wouldn't be a problem, but because I'm not, it's a bit of an issue. Ah, Rubio just run. Oh, he's offside, isn't he? Yeah. That was Ayala I was looking for, but he didn't want to move. Go on, Doyle. No, he, he wins the ball amazingly and then loses it instantly. That's, that's Doyle this season. He, he, he shows moments of, you know, good player stuff and then 
and turns into absolute shit. That he really does show why he's Irish. Potential, but just never fulfilled. All right, Doyle. Uh, what's his name has set you true? Ayala. Get it back to him. And we got a foul out of it. Oh, well done, Doyle. Good work. Now, Ayala, just get it in the box and we'll see what happens. Not that we ever score for moments like this. Hit it. Goal. Yes, Ayala is just so good. Who's a Spanish centre forward? Uh, who, who would that be? Who can play left wing and right wing? Not a centre forward. I'm trying to think of a Spaniard who could do that. Like, Jared Moreno comes to mind, but I don't think it's him. Uh, what's the guy that used to play for Liverpool? Um, oh, he looks weird. Aspas. It's not him, because he's a striker. Um, Joaquin, I don't think, I don't think it's him. Uh, Anaki Williams, it's obviously not him. Uh, Ferran Torres, I think is a centre mid. Or a white mid. I, I'm not sure who it is. Spanish centre forward who can play left wing and right wing. Because the Uruguayan one is obviously Cavani, because he came around when Cavani was, uh, when Cavani retired. Oh, this is good. Ayala, this is it. Ayala, this is it. Oh, he oh, nuts the goalkeeper as well. And that's a hat-trick. Gamers, I think we can, uh, I think we can, we can sim this. Right, with that, uh, Ayala's obviously gotten, uh, man of the match, because he scored a fucking hat-trick. Oh, the got a 10. Oh, the Mosu got a 10. Wow. Well, Ayala got a hat trick, so he gets man much. There you go. That was nice and easy to sort. Alright, second team we're playing against the dark. Although we could probably play the first team, but I don't want to risk getting knocked out of the Champions League. One all draw. Benamar, Miss Penn. Where are we? 7.3 for Highland. Is that fair? Yes, it is. Alright, playing my first team. Uh, I'm not sure if I said Kane's demoted to the second team, but anyway, he is. I'm simming this. We've trained all up. There's no way we're losing this game by three goals or more. Yeah, if we win 2-1. Like, th that's what I mean. Like, this team is at a stage where it's starting to get too good for certain levels of competition. Now, obviously, we're not too good for the Champions League. We're never going to be too good for the Champions League. But what I mean is, like, the qualifiers were just too good. Um, we have a little bit of an issue here. Ayala and Rubio have both scored a goal. Uh, it doesn't really say who's assisted what. So, uh, Ayala's basically one player of the season. But because he's basically one player of the season, I'm going to give it to Rubio so there's a bit more competition. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, it's simming this game because we have a Champions League playoff final, the final one, uh, directly after this. And that loss is going to have to be taken. Oh, no, it's not fucking Simon, is it, that got man the match? Oh, that's another name we're going to have to put on the list. Although, I might not even bother, because he's not going to get another one. Right, we're playing Red Bull Salzburg. I'm going to play my first team, which is basically standard at this stage. And hopefully Ayala or Rubio can carry us through this game. Maybe even Ryan. Yeah. The strange thing is, right, this is supposed to be like an all-Ireland uh, youth player career mode. Right, obviously I have, to, I have a limit of foreign players, and it's always the foreign players that end up carrying the team with a couple support in Irish roles, except for McGuinness and Dundalk room, and that was, he was the exception. But even then we had Ronaldo's region scoring nearly all the goals, or well, half the goals, and then the other half were McGuinness. Cleary stayed there a long time, like he really did, but we don't really have that one player there, maybe, maybe Phillips, maybe, because Kane's going to go. Brown's going to go. Uh, maybe Odomosu would stay. Well, at the moment he's staying because we have no one else better. So two players we can see staying. Phillips and Odomosu. And Doc had Cleary. Alright, Salzburg are fucked. They've let Ayala on the loose. Hit that. Oh, he's been fucking tackled at the last second. I see you, Ayala. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, this is big. This is big. Hit that. Oh, what a save. I don't know what Steam notification that was. I don't really care. It's not important. Oh, kept it in. Ah. I see Doyle all at the far post by himself, but of course he's not looking for her in any way. Doyle, you gotta fucking look for it. I don't have anyone else to play there. Otherwise, I would be playing them there. Because Doyle has just been terrible this season, like really bad. 
And I just don't see him getting any better. Maybe we can get a foreign player out there. Actually, hold on a second. Hold on. We've hit a foreign quota. We've got three. Oh. Oh, shit. I didn't realize. Oh, I was thinking about getting Sergio Ramos' regen. If I could get him next transfer window. Shit. Oh, I'm going to have to sell someone. Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Oh, what a goal. Oh, my God. How did they not score that? Goal? Oh, great save, Otomosu. I have no idea how Salzburg are not winning this game. They've been fantastic with some of the shots they've had. That free kick being one. That, that rocket that just occurred. That's another. Come on, Doyle. you got to do something, man. He's not even winning the ball in this box. Like, he's really bad. Like, he's been terrible. And it's too early to take him off, because what's the point? Oh, shit. Here they come again. Absolutely no uh, no cohesion at the back. Oh, ref, that could be a red card. No, yellow. That was on Doyle. I suppose Doyle got them to have a yellow card, but that's really all he's done. Like, a poor pass there. Um, I don't like him anymore. I see Doyle, but he's just not running. Like, you've got so much space, and you're just not doing anything. Now he's running. Right, just get the ball to Ayala. Let him do the rest. No. Nope. Oh, Doyle, like... Look at shit like that. He just lets it get past him. Now, this isn't uh, me complaining about gameplay. This is me complaining about actual Doyle. Uh, not the IRL one. He'll absolutely beat me up. But uh, the FIFA one is not very good anymore. He was. Not anymore. All right. Ayala to Rubio. I see Adiemo. Keep going. Don't give up. Adiemo's really made a name for himself eventually here. Shoot that, Rubio. Yes. Absolute beast of a goal. Uh, that was great work from Adiemo there to keep the ball in play. And uh, an assist for Ayala. And Rubio has shown up here. We'd love to see it. We should be uh, losing this game, yet we're the ones winning. All right, well, half time, we finished 1 all. Or, sorry, 1 0. Uh, second half, let's see what we can do here. I don't think this is going to be another 3 0 like it was against Ferran Faros. This might be a, a 1 all, maybe a 2 1 to, to Salzburg. I can see them coming back in this half. I need a runner. For Doyle, Ayala's trying his best. I was going to say her best. Yeah, no, nah, there just wasn't fast enough there for Ayala. Rubio didn't bother running at all. Striker AI is terrible. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to blame Doyle for, for other people's mistakes. Oh, that's a brilliant ball. Great save, Odomosu. Proving why he's one of the best. Oh, great shot. Oh, I thought that was on target. Go on, Doyle. I was going to say Clark. Sadly, he's no longer with us. All right, it's Rubio. Oh, I see Doyle. Oh, the game sees Ayala instead. Rubio, goal. Oh, my God. How did that miss? What a block that was. Oh, my God. That should have been 2-0. Should we win 2-0? And ball, ref? No. Bollocks. This is brilliant passing for my attacking team. Come on. Oh, why would you hit that in the air? Uh, does triple tap X chip it up in the air? I thought that was a low ball. Maybe it's double tap X? Oh, fuck's sake. That's just ruined the opportunity for me now. I wanted to glide it along the ground, not fucking ship it in the air. I would have just done a normal cross if I wanted it in the air. i got to test that, but I'm not going to test it now in a game that's crucial to Champions League qualification. Oh, great save, Automosu. Right, line's coming on. Uh, Doyle's off for Nesbitt. No other changes need to be made. I would take Ayala off, but he is uh, the heartbeat of this team at the moment. Rubio to Lions. Okay, Lions is free. Is there any help coming? There is not. Chip that. Oh my fucking god. Lions, this is why you don't play anymore. Honestly, this is why you never fucking play anymore. I yeah, should have at least gone over the crossbar. Not straight into his fucking arms as he's on the ground. I did not hit it that week, and also that's a foul. Of course, it's not given. It's never given. The block. That was just chaos there. We've managed to get away with it. Somehow. Right, Castelli's coming off for O'Reilly. He's getting uh, spun around there constantly, and uh, that's not what I want from my centre-backs. Right, here's Nesbitt. Cross that. Hit that. Goal! Yes, what an absolute finish. Lions, you've made up for your earlier mistake. Good work there. Good work. You've, uh, you've, you've redeemed yourself, in my eyes. Stunning strike. 
well, there we have it. 2-0 win. Man, the match, I honestly think Odomosu. He, he made some really, really good saves to keep us in the game. Uh, I can understand it going to Ayala. But I, I'd give it to Odomosu. Yeah, the game agrees. Uh, Odomosu was absolutely pivotal in us not conceding there. But he gets an 8.4. Now, he probably won't show up on the graphic because I, I don't see him getting many more man the matches. But, you know... That was a uh, good effort. All right, seven against Longford. We've got the second leg of Salzburg coming up. Not that I'm too bothered about. We're already winning by quite a bit. Nine point seven from Nesbit. Nesbit. Okay, Jamie Nesbit now has a fucking man of the match. Everyone's getting a man of the match this season. There's no one that. There's no one that doesn't have a man of the match in my squad. In fact, I'm actually going to calculate that. I'm going to calculate how many players have man of the matches this season. Fifteen players got man of the match this season. Now, obviously, we've got 11 players here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 15 out of 23 players have managed matches this season. What the fuck is that? I think that shows that my team is... Uh, overall performing. Uh, everyone's performing. Well, bar technically, how many players is it? Eight players? I don't even know who the eight players are. And they've scored. Okay, right, I'm jumping in. All right, maybe it was a mistake to... The sim the first half. Uh, yeah, shit. Okay, we're just going to have to play it cool here. Oh, Collins has gotten in the way. Oh, boy. Now, Doyle, just run. Just run with it. Run until he starts catching up. He'll be fine. No support from Rubio. Again, the striker position is causing massive issues for me. Uh, where my strikers don't actually fucking strike. But they, they don't... Push up. Now, maybe I would blame Lions for that. Uh, I think in uh, episode one of this season, season five. Uh, I think it's just a striker issue now. I don't think it's actually a, a Lions specific issue. And I need to apologize to him for that. Although Ruby has just actually done a really good turn there. Oh, maybe there's no need to apologize after all. Ah, you fat cunt. Hit that Ruby. I'll just smack it. Handball, ref. Why did I not shoot? Like, why, why do they not run up alongside you when you're attacking? Why do they just chill? Like, stop. Like, they just stop running and leave you to do it yourself. The work's not done. Keep running. Who cares if I take a shot and not pass it? AI, man. The attacking AI in this game is really, really, really poor. Uh, it's not the worst um, in any of the FIFAs that I've played. It's not the worst. It's, it's one of the better ones, but it's just some decisions are actually shit compared to other FIFAs. Go on, Ayala. He's busting through midfield. Uh, that's not what I said to do. Rubio, where are you at? There you are. Pass it to Doyle. Doyle, stop that. Pass it to Adiemo. No, shoot. Goal? No. I really wanted that to go to Adiemo there. I just couldn't get it to him. I did try. Yeah. Collins has gotten booked. No way he gets away with that. Yeah, no, that's that's... That's standard. You can see us getting knocked out here. Salzburg are turning on the turning on the tap. Little gates might be opening here. Okay, so Collins on that thing where he just boots it ahead of him for no fucking reason. Dedicated button for that, yet yeah, the game just does it automatically for no fucking reason. Oh, it's really annoying. It fucking frustrates the fuck out of me. I just lose the ball for no reason. When I shouldn't, because I should have just been playing a normal dribble. But of course, anything that EA wants, they're going to get... Well, that's a good ball. Offside. That's offside, ref. Of course it's not offside. Of fucking course it's not. <sighs> right, well, look. Europa League isn't the end of the world anyway. We need to win it. Maybe we can win it this season and only focus on Champions League for the season after. All right, we're playing it safe. We're just getting Doyle off the pitch before he can do any more damage. He's been fucking shocking today. He's been shocking uh, this season. He's been real bad. He's only got two man of the matches. 9.9 .9 is a very good rating. But you've got to do that consistently, like Ayala is doing. Oh, I forgot to say we've uh, changed formation as well to a 3-4-2-1. Go on, get that to Ayala. No, of course, it's under hit as standard with FIFA. They just don't do what you want them to do. And Chris Lyons just doesn't bother fucking running. Like, look at him, he just jogs. The defensive AI is fucking shit as well. The AI is just terrible, full stop. Again, not the worst, but it's not the best. It should be the best, being the latest fucking game. 
Ruby, I'm gonna need you to run down the middle. Now, of course, my player just decides to take 10 fucking years to... Two of my players. One, Rubio took ages to fucking run, and two, uh, Ayala took ages to fucking shoot. Right, yeah, I'm just leaving. This is, this is bullshit. The game's just decided to cheat. The game had to fucking cheat for that. Alright, Rubio 7.3. You don't deserve it, you cunt. Alright, confirmation. We're in the Europa League. You'll love to see it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the group. Maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll just sim this game. If we win, I'll tell you the group. If we draw or lose, I won't. I'll save it for the next video. Alright, I'm going to show you the group. After I do man the match. 8.5 for Doyle. Is there anyone else that got anything? Wow, Doyle gets man the match. Well, Doyle, you're still fucking shit. And I hope you get sold. Right, before I show you the Europa League group stage, we're going to do the uh, monthly report. Uh, McCann's not good enough. And the rest can stay there for now, although their overalls are... F you need to do a patch where the overalls are actually, like, playable. Because uh, you can't play with a 50 rate player. Trust me, I know. I've, I've done this fucking career mode twice now. You can't do it. It's really fucking difficult. Alright, Keane Delaney can get in the squad. We'll check Keane Delaney, and then I'll show you the Europa League squad. Where's Keane? There he is. Not very good. Alright, Europa League group. I'm going to have a prediction. I think Villarreal, some shitty team from either Austria or Romania, and Olympic Lyon. Okay, so we have Helsinki. Okay, that's technically the shitty team. Uh, Porto and Wolfsburg. Okay, well, technically the same caliber of teams, maybe. Uh, I was predicting. Um... Well, the wrong teams. I didn't even get close. Let's just see if the if those teams that I predict are even in the tournament. Right, Group A. That's I was thinking Rapid Vienna when I said shitty Austrian team. But you know, so technically yes, but not really. Uh, that's another team. That's obviously our group. We should be Helsinki twice. That should put us on six points for the Conference League. And then all we need is a win against Porto or Wolfsburg, and we're true. Uh, this is my boys, Atlanta. Already beaten these guys. They're not really important to me. I think FCB... FCSB. That's the team I was thinking of from Romania. So, yeah, I've kind of got it. And then who was the thing? Lyon. That's that's the last team. And then I'm going to consider myself a, a a prediction god. Latium. That's the team that slots on three gens up. Anyone else? No, Lyon is not in. Are they in the Champions League? Let's have a look to see if Lyon are in the Champions League. Oh, there's Villarreal right there. Where are you? Come on, Lyon. You're somewhere... No? Conference? I wonder if Lyon will be in the Conference League. They are. Wow. Jesus. I might as well show you all the groups. United are in the Conference League. Yeah, that's because it's all sure is shite. and can't manage two beans on a plate. Anyone else? No, interesting. Right, so the order of the group. Uh, I think Helsinki first. Then I'm thinking... Um, not Porto. Wolfsburg. And then Porto. Helsinki first. Ah, oh. Porto then Wolfsburg. I think I said Wolfsburg then Porto. I didn't. I didn't. I already see this. Anyway, so in the next part we're gonna be doing well Simon, and then we'll play. Um, definitely the first three Europa League games. Uh, depending on how that goes, you might even finish off the season. Because you know, we could. Uh, what's this? This is part three. Yeah, we we probably will finish off the season in the next part. Just do the group stage all in one go. Alright, well, with that, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, actually, no, player ratings, sorry. Player ratings. Rubio added, uh, shit, an 8.1 and a 7.3. Uh, Ryan added an 8.5. Doyle, the shithead, added an 8.5. Ayala added a, a shit ton. A two tens, definitely. Possibly even a, a third 10 and a 9.9. .9. I've got no idea. Uh, Coyle added a 10, I think. Who else added? So, Killian Phillips, 8.7. James Brown, 8. Kaleem Simon, 8.1. David Odomosu, 8.4. And then Jamie Nesbitt, 9.7. Right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I've had enough.